All right, iOS 17 has been out for a few days. Got a couple of updates on it. Been wanting to go ahead and get it updated on my iPhone. Here's my iPhone XR, 10R, whichever one you want to call it. We're going to put iOS 17 on this bad boy today. See how it runs. Y'all stay with us. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. All right, like I said in the intro, iOS 17 is out. Got a couple of minor updates to it, so it's ready to go. I've been running the betas, and I'll put a playlist up here of the betas I've been running on the iPad. It's been great, all the improvements they've made and everything. But I'm going to get my phone done, and then we'll do the watch, and then the Apple TV. So to do this, very simple. And all we're going to do is drop down to the screen here, and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, they've got it now where it's just super simple. So what we're going to do, where's my thing at? Right there. Here's my phone. Got it unlocked, and we're going to switch over to the settings application. And we're going to go down to general. And then software update. So settings, general software update and I've got it to where on my automatic updates I have it on download only I don't have it on install you can do however you want to if you want it to install you can I've got it like this okay now we can go 16.7 but I want to go ahead and go down here to upgrade to iOS 17 we'll do that 2.87 gigabytes and um, brings big updates to iPhone messages and FaceTime um, airdrop airdrop seems to be working better for most people so that's something I use a lot we'll go ahead and hit download and install put in my passcode And it's going to request the update just like it does on the iPad. Uh, I wish it would have already downloaded it. took a while yesterday for the iPad, so I, I hope it doesn't take that long today. So whenever it gets done, I'll come back and we'll, uh, or whenever it gets finished requesting and downloading, it's showing what, four minutes, four minutes remaining. And uh, we'll go right to it. Okay, that was just a few minutes, and now it's preparing the update. And uh, more than likely, once it gets prepared, it'll give me like eight or ten seconds to go ahead and hit OK or do it later. So uh, I'll keep it. I'll keep the camera recording here and. Uh, We'll see what it does. Okay, now it says we can install an hour later. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the install now. This is 17.0.1. And uh, I failed to mention that you need to back up your phone before you do this, just in case something gets screwed up. Uh, you can back it up to iCloud or you can back it up to your computer or NAS, whichever, whichever one you'll do. Mine is backed up to iCloud and my computer but I went ahead and hit install now so it will do a one or two reboots probably two I hope it'll just come right back it's actually going through the reboot cycle doing this we'll see if it comes back on the screen here I think it's got to do it twice so uh, we'll zip you through this. Usually it only takes a few minutes. Now the, the download and preparing took a little over 30 minutes. So luckily I wasn't doing anything else today. Okay, let's look and see if they got it. That took a while. No, it's still not back yet. Okay, so let me drop down here on the desk and show you what we got. Okay. So showing all the different languages and everything. 
Okay, we are software updates complete to 1701. Hit continue. This did take a while, I, I guess because my phone is so old, this XR. And we'll swipe up. And the only thing it asked me was about Siri, so. Let's see what we got here. We got 100% battery. Everything on our battery stuff is looks good. Our widgets hadn't came in yet. Let's see if it works. Yep, 82 degrees outside. Um, all of our applications are there. Go to settings. On my iCloud stuff, Wi-Fi, general, about. 1701, the build on it is 21A340. Uh, I've got 66 gigabytes available, um, 128 gig phone. It's my XR. Everything seems normal. Make sure I don't have another update. Nope, I'm up to date. So that, everything else seems to be normal. Down the camera. Yep, everything looks normal. Uh, All my applications are there and all. So, I believe we are okay. Hmm. Well, that is weird. It won't show up in my OBS. Now, I guess I have to restart OBS, but uh, there is iOS 17.0.1. Put it through its paces and make sure all the changes are working and see how my battery life does. It did take over an hour to do this. Uh, and like I said, back up your phone before you do this, just in case something screws up so you can back it back out. Um, I will probably do a video on how to downgrade to iOS 16 from this, just in case somebody needs it. But yeah, there we go. I have to cut a whole bunch of this out because it took quite a while. So anyway, hope you get something out of this. If you got any questions, any comments, how it's went for you, let me know. Put them down there in the comments section. I answer all the questions best I can, and I do I do respond to everybody. So there we have it. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. And if you're on Rumble, do the same thing. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.